Hi, this is Sue. Uh, it is April 22nd, I believe, Monday. Um, it's about 2.15 in the afternoon. And so today we are going to talk about and install a zipper in this purse. Now, there's several things about zippers that you probably already know, but I'm going to go over it anyway. Um, zippers come in all sizes, colors, and whatever. Um, this zipper right here, I just found it in my stash. I didn't know I had it. It is a 24-inch zipper, and it's double-sided. It has a zipper pull on both sides. So this is a jacket zipper, or a very long jacket, and uh, so eventually we're going to be making jackets, but um, not for a while. Now, one thing about zippers, um, when you measure a zipper, you measure the teeth. You don't measure the tape. You don't measure the outside edge. You measure the teeth. And watch it with Amazon because uh, some of these, uh, I've noticed, some of these Chinese um, vendors on Amazon don't seem to know that. They measure the uh, tape and you get a zipper that is the wrong size. So, it is always a good idea to go ahead and buy a zipper that is too long so you can cut it down. If it's a plastic zipper, you can cut it down. Now, I bought these uh, bulk zippers from Amazon. They came in their Chinese zippers, and they're pretty. And all that, but they're extremely flimsy and they break easily and your customers get very angry when their purse zipper breaks. So I would, I would avoid these bulk zippers completely. They are not worth the money. And they measured the tape and you can see, look at that. They're supposed to measure from here down to the metal stop, down here at the bottom. See that? They're supposed to measure from that metal stop to the top of the teeth, where the zipper stop is, up here at the top. That's supposed to be the length of the zipper. They don't do that. They measure the length of the tape, so you're not getting the correct length. Always, when you order a zipper, always order one too long you can always cut it down but my advice is this was a waste of money I can't use these zippers I can't use them there's about I don't remember how many there are in here but don't buy them <laughs> just to listen to the voice of experience on that one uh, this one I don't remember buying this one. I found it in my stash a few minutes ago. It is a heavy jacket zipper. It is 20 inches. And uh, since it's in the package, I assume that it is measured correctly. It's a Coates and Clark and that out of Charlottesville, North Carolina. So I assume since they manufacture zippers, that they know what they're talking about. So we're eventually going to be making some jackets, eventually. And uh, so there's that. And then the next thing that we have is the um, zipper by the yard. I got this one from Amazon. This is three and a, three and a quarter yards. And it has 12 zipper slides on it. Uh, it says it's an upholstery zipper. 
I put them in everything. I, I really like these zippers. And this is what we're going to be using today. Um, so, we're going to be putting in a zipper in the, um, in the purse. And, uh, so what you want to do with, uh, this, is move all that stuff out of the way. Okay, I was going to show you how to make an adjustable strap on your, on your, um, on your purse. <laughs> Oh, my mind just went blank there for a second. Um, but the, the slides that I have aren't big enough. Uh, I've got this. I've got this size. But they're just not big enough for the... Um, for the... Because you have to put them in and then come back through. Well, let me see here. Maybe this one's big enough. I don't think it is, though. No, I don't. Well, we'll try it. When we get to that, when we get to that, we'll try it. Because so I've got some of these slides, but I just don't think they're big enough. All right. Put that over there. Okay. So, I was going through my stash, and I found, I found some pins. I found those. Decided to put those on my, on there to see if I liked them. And I found, I found this, this one. And I decided to put it on there to see if I liked it. And I think I do. I think I like all three of them. And, uh, so... We don't have much room here. Now, this is my longest table, but we just don't have much room. Let's see. I can put this stuff up. Stuff over here. All right. Now then, zippers are not hard. They're not difficult at all. You want your zipper foot? Just a minute. I forgot to get mine out. This is the candy box, a Russell Stover candy box, and I think my sister gave it to me for Christmas. She goes there and give me candy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I put, let's see if I can adjust this and show you this. I didn't have any place to put all my feet, so I put all my feet in the candy box. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it smells good. So let's see, which one of these is the zipper foot? Hmm. Huh. Oh, here it is. Okay, this, let's see if I can pick this up, now that I have to see if I can get it in there, that is your zipper foot, it is also your edge stitch foot, you can also use it for edge stitching, 
but you cannot use it for decorative stitches because you can't you can't zigzag with that it's for straight stitch only but if you're hearing some rattling and banging the wind's blowing real hard outside okay so we're going to put on the zipper foot and um, I'll show you how to do the, the zipper it's um, it's quick and easy so take a few things off like this cover I don't think that's going to go in there. That is. Someday I'll show you how to make these round. Oh. Uh, boxes uh they're so handy to have i i i make them all the time and i've got all kinds of stuff stored in them um this one is full so it's just over full Okay, put that back, couple there, all right, so now, put this on, oh, come on, Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take one side of the outside, one side of the lining. We're going to take our zipper and open it. And don't be afraid to cut down the zipper because they're ready to be cut down. So, okay, I'm going to readjust you, uh, go down, okay, can you see, now then,
fun trying to put that back on there. Okay. So we're going to take this. And we're going to cut this a little bit shorter than Uh, not a lot, just a tiny little bit shorter than uh, all right about there. And we're going to cut off, we're going to cut this metal tab off right here. And we're going to cut it right here, and we've moved up one of our zipper bowls. We don't need more than one, because um, you can buy from Amazon. You can buy the kind where you can uh, put the zipper pull on separately, and if the zipper pull comes off, these aren't that great. These are Walmart zippers. They're not that great. You can't do that with these. So we're going to cut this. I think I'm going to make it just a little bit longer than what I marked it at. Okay. Let's cut that off. And uh, we'll roll this back up. I think I pulled. Oh, shoot. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to roll it up and put it in. Alright. For the time being, I'm just going to throw this over here. I'll work on that later. Now. Do you remember... When we cut these corners, like this, do you remember those? I hope you saved them. If you didn't, why, you're going to have to cut some new ones. Because we are now going to put them on the ends of our zippers. To keep that from, uh, to keep us from losing this zipper pull and we don't have to worry about that anymore let's cut this off right here I'll cut this metal tab off we don't want that okay All right, so now we're going to take these and we're going to fold them and we're going to fold them. Well, let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to, maybe I need to, okay, <sighs> oh yeah, okay, I got two, one on each end, we're going to, you want the zipper, you want this down, face down on top of the zipper, and we're going to sew across here. We're going to fold this in. We're going to turn it, rather, and then fold that in, and then sew across again. So, and this should, this should be pretty easy. Oh, shoot, that's laying on top of that. 
All right. So over here. What is that like? Right. Oh, I turned it off. If you don't have these this strip of lights, I recommend them. I love them. Now, if you watch um, Last Homely House, she doesn't like them. I do. I think she, I I really enjoy watching Kate, but uh, I don't always agree with her. So we're going to sew across the zipper. And it doesn't want to go, but that's okay. We'll just kind of make it. And since this is something that's not going to be seen all that well, and we can cut this off, and uh, so fold this. Oh, this thing is tipped. Uh, can you see this? Okay, well, we're going to fold this in. Fold that in. Oh, geez, I cut that too short. Well, never mind. We'll fold this like this. Fold this like this. See that? We'll just cut this off over here on this side. As this will be in the... Um, Once we once we get the zipper installed, you won't really see this very much. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You know. This won't be real visible. It might be a little bit, but it won't be very visible. All right, so now we're going to sew this down. And it doesn't want to do it. So we're going to have to just baby it along here. job these are my thread scissors I absolutely love them they're spring loaded
I think I've seen these at Amazon at or at Walmart rather when I bought them. I don't think I, I don't think Walmart had them. I've had these for a long time, but I think I think I saw them at Walmart recently. So they have these now. All right. Now for the next one. Here it is. Let's cut this down a little bit. So we're going to sew across here, we can cut this down, <laughs> don't cut your tape, because tape tends to rattle if you cut it. So we're going to sew this across here, and it depends on the zipper. Sometimes they're hard to sew, sometimes they're not. This one's hard to sew. And it wants to slide. All right. Good enough. We're going to turn that back. Fold that under. Yeah, did you see that? Just turn it back and fold it under, and then you're going to sew again across the top here. And this one's looking better than the other one did. But like I said, they're not going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you just hate it when the... Thread springs up and unthreads your needle. Right. One thing I've noticed, if you don't have an automatic uh, needle threader, on your machine, which this one doesn't. It's a stripped-down model. It's a good machine, but it's a stripped-down model. Just get a lip balm and just put a little bit on the end. And uh, makes it easier. It will say to get uh, the wax lip balms. Uh, I've got tons of lip balms around here. I think it was a joke, but my cousin gave me lip balms for Christmas. And since she's kind of a prankster, I kind of assumed that that was what she was doing. She's 88 years old and still pranking when she gets a chance. <laughs> My cousin, she's 88. The doctor told her she needed to go into assisted living. My cousin interpreted that as sell your house and move into an apartment. 
And since she owned an apartment building, she um, she just moved into an apartment that she owned in the building that she owned. And so that was her interpretation of you need to be in assisted living. Oh, okay. I'll move into an apartment that I own. This was not the greatest job in the world. But like I said, it's not going to be seen. So, there it is. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of trimmed here a little bit. And for those of you that wonder, I talk about Walmart a lot, and I don't talk about Target or any of the other stores like that because we don't have those in this town. We have a Walmart, and that's it. And uh, we did have a Salvation Army, but it closed. There's another thrift store moving in, but I don't, I've never I liked it very much. They've been around town for a while, and I've never cared too much for it. Salvation Army gets it out. Okay. So now we have our zipper prepped. And we're going to put it in. So. Move you over here. I'm sorry about, about that. And uh, it's going to be right sides together. The lining... Put the lining down first. And then put the outside. I think. We can do that later. All right, so we're gonna put this down here like this, and then we're gonna put this outside on top like this. And Let's move this over a little bit because that's and you can if you want to you can either put clips on this like that like that you can either put clips on here, or you can put pins. Um, where's my clickers? Here it is. All right. So, can you see? No, you can't. Okay. So... Um, and it might be easier to do with pins because with pins you don't want a pin up here you want to get it straightened out and you want to pin it down here this will hold it in the in place and be completely out of your way you can feel it you can feel where the teeth are 
and stick your pan in and that's not going to move. You can also, um, I don't have any right now, but you can also buy um, uh, some adhesive, iron-on adhesive, and iron that down, and then um, uh, that makes it easier to, to sew into. Okay, so now you want to double check. You want to make sure that your front and your back are even. You don't want one overlapping the other. So double check this. See, that's not quite Yeah, so I'm going to have to move these pins because i got to shift that around just a little bit. Not much. I did get it off just a tad. I'm not perfect. And I've never once in my life claimed to be perfect. Okay. If this is the way I want that. Make sure everything is lined up, the zipper's lined up where you want it. Now, I personally don't believe in putting pins in my way. Now then, we have this zipper pull here that we're going to have to contend with. So, we know where it is. It's right here. So, when we get to it, we're going to have to pull it back out of the way. And then when we get to it down here, we're going to have to pull it back up out of our way. So, make sure everything is straight and even, and there's no puckers, there's no, you know, fiddle with it, work with it, get it exactly the way you want it to be. And uh, now, see this is pinned down over here on this side. But this is not going to move. You don't have to have the pins in your way to have this pin down. And uh, I see a lot of people that will pin up in here, and then they're pulling the pins out. Why? That doesn't make any sense to me. So double check it. Make sure everything is exactly like you want it to be. Make sure that's straight. Okay, so now we're gonna put, we're gonna sew this side. And uh, I hope you can see. I can't tell. Okay, I think you can see that now. There. I think that's right. I think you can see that. All right, so here we go. Now then, the camera might be in the way a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is roll this up Get it out of 
out of my way so that it's not in the way of the camera. And turn that down. That will go through. I can go through all those layers. Alright, I'll just fold it up and hold it up. Okay, so I'm trying to work around this uh, tripod here. So we're going to, that's wanting to bow up a little bit. We don't want it to do that. And Okay, we're here at this. At the zipper pull, we're going to pull it back. This came off. Pull this back out of the way. Pull it back. And uh, that knocked you out of the um, Maybe I'll put it back. I tighten that down a little bit. But that doesn't look good anymore. All right. All right. sewing when I can't see what I'm doing and so this is the one thing I don't like about this, making sewing in zippers I can't see what I'm doing with this I can see that that zipper is there but am I putting it in right I don't like sewing it when I can't see it
this is not the greatest job. But, uh, and that pushed the camera completely out of the way. Sorry about that. Okay. First of all, let's take a look. It looks straight. So let's see what we have. It's too close to the teeth. Okay. This is what it looks like. Now then the next thing to do is to press this down and then top stitch along here and uh, because we we want we want to make sure we press this down on both sides and press and stitch along here and that should make the zipper open and close like it should that's it uh, So let's do that. Go over to the ironing board and we're going to press this down real good on this side. Press this down real good on this side. When you press the zipper, make sure that you don't get on the teeth and make sure that it's zipped up because that helps protect the teeth. And uh, we're going to make doubly sure that this is pushed back as far away from the teeth as we can get we're going to press we're going to put the iron right along here we don't want to get up on the teeth so this is what we're going to do the ironing board's behind us so we're going for a little ride yes my house is a mess i had somebody comment on that your house is a mess Okay, why don't you go over and clean it up? this down right here on both sides
much. That iron is hot. All right, so now we're going to put, we're going to straight stitch, we're going to stitch it down so it doesn't come riding up on us. All right. Back over here. Okay, so now we need to take this off, move this over here to the other side. And we're going to edge stitch this down and I'm holding your threads if you can find them. Okay, so why is that? Oh, I see it. Okay, I'm gonna move this needle over. Trim some of these threads and then we'll put it in on the other side and this is what it looks like let's see I don't know how well you can see that but so far this is what it looks like And this is what it looks like on the back. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the other side of the lining down 
underneath the um, zipper and uh, it will be face up pretty side up on the outside it will be pretty side down same as before get everything lined up you want everything to line up with uh, what you've done before make sure it's completely lined up and we're going to pin it again oh there's my pin cushion uh, I keep losing it all right Make sure this is all lined up perfectly. The better you line it up, the better it'll be. You want, but now you've got to make sure that you line it up with what's already there. And we're going to pin it again. Not good. to pull this up we're going through a lot of layers with this these pins on this one so it might be for you it might be easier to um, put the use the clips you might find that easier to do. Try and see which one works best for you. All right, got that pin. Make sure everything is exactly the way you want it. Because now's the time you can take the pins out and you can realign and readjust. And I don't know if you can see this or not. I can't tell what you can see. I have a glare on here and I can't tell what you can see. All right. I hope that you can see that that's lined up. We've got this all and we're going to so along here okay we don't want any wrinkles so repin as frequently as you need to. If you think your clips are going to be better, put those in. Give those a try. The only thing about the clips is they'll be along the top here and then you'll have to take them out as you sew. And for some reason I find that irritating. And I find it irritating to watch somebody 
sewing and taking clips out. Just, or pins. I don't know why. I just do. I know it has to be done, but it just... Okay. All right, we're going to do this now. And this is... Okay. I'm going to take this off. I'll move this back over here. And we're going to have to... At least I'm going to have to... That's about uh, right. That should not be doing that. Okay. So now we're going to move the needle again. Okay. That's is that tipping like that? Should not be doing that. And when I set it down, huh? What happens when I do it this way? See, that shouldn't be doing that. Now, why is it doing that? Why on earth is it doing that? Huh. It should not be. That, I don't understand why that's tipping itself at an angle like that. It didn't do that a while ago. I have other stuff in that. Just exactly alike, but that one for some reason that one's tipping too. I don't understand what's going on. Oh well, we're gonna sew it. Okay, here we go. That's crooked, but that's going to just have to be that way. 
We'll see how it works. Might work just fine, I don't know. So far, so good. pins out and see what we have. Alright, cut this up. And I do believe we've done a pretty good job of putting this zipper in. All right, so we have it laying down here. I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, so now we have this is the back. This is the front. We're going to, like we did before, we're going to press this down. And we're going to sew this down. And the zipper will be done. And uh, then I will stop this video and uh, get prepped up and ready for the next step. We are almost done with this and I want to get it done today. So I'm going to I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to start the the next video to finish this up. We're going to put on the handle, we're going to uh sew up the sides and uh we'll be done here hopefully soon. So I'm going to stop this video because you've already seen how to do this. You've already seen how to press this down and uh, sew right on the edge here and sew this zipper down. And the zipper is looking good. And uh, so I think we're doing good. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back Soon, but I'm going to turn this into a another video because uh, this is already over an hour, which I did not expect, but that's the way it is. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back soon.